Hello, hello, hello. Time has to roll. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in, my loves. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you in advance. You already know what it is, my loves. Kick your feet up. Get your shit, get your shit, get your shit. And get comfortable. Because we about to make it do what it do. This is a love channel only. That's all we talk about. Playing on regular love. We do pick up on divine connections, family, friends, karmic energies. Do pop out as well, guys, okay? So take what resonates, leave the rest. We're going to jump on in. One more. One more. One more. Somebody thinking about you guys. They 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 thinking about you heavy too. Like they're replaying conversations. Um, they could be looking at your pictures if they have pictures of you guys. If they have videos of you guys, they're they're looking at the videos. But someone is sitting back somewhere by themselves. Could be like a garage in a car. Um, I said her like basketball court at a park or something, but they're by themselves secluded, looking at either like text messages, pictures, yo, your uh social media sites, something of that nature here. Look, they at home doing this shit. But somebody is sitting at their house and they're remembering or thinking about how comforting you were to them, how you made them feel like they belong. Okay, how when they were with you, they felt safe. You and this person could have even lived together at one period of time. Yeah, but this person went towards somebody else or gave to another connection, feeling like the grass was going to be greener somewhere else. Okay, there could have been some jealousy there, but they felt like they had a better option somewhere else, and now they're not happy. They could have even felt like you deserve better than them. It's different for everybody. But somebody is sitting at home, even like if they got like a little porch like this, they're sitting on their porch or they're sitting on the back patio, but they by themselves in the cut. If they have a basement, they're down in the basement, but they're somewhere alone, secluded, looking at pictures, photos, social medias. Tell me more, Spirit. What's going on for my collector when it comes to their love lives? Yeah, see, they're thinking about the times you guys spent together with this party. Celebrations, events, public, social gatherings, the time that you guys spent together. How much fun you guys had together when you were together. Yeah, how you made this person feel. You were always a good time. It was always a good time when you guys were together. Whether you were out, you know, with a big group of people or if it was just you two together somewhere doing something. Yeah, this person has this magnetic attraction to you. They're allured. They may even be a little lustful. Okay, but it's irresistible. And they want to come in and flirt because they can't get enough of you. They want to come in and celebrate with your party, with you, have a good time with you. They miss doing this with you here. And they're sitting at home thinking about it. Replaying the memories. Tell me more for my collector when it comes to their love lives. Yeah, so this person... They may reach out to you because they may want to hook up. But it's going to be a one-night stand, intimacy, casual relationship, a fling. This could have been what the relationship was like. This could be why y'all have come to an end. Because maybe this person only wanted it to be a hookup. It was a one-night stand or a casual fling here. Friends with benefits. They could be sitting at home thinking about how you guys used to hang out together and the sex that you guys had, the hookup, this could have been, like I said, a friends with benefits type connection. But there was divine intervention, yeah. Because this person just wanted to party and hook up. They didn't want to give you nothing, nothing sincere, nothing long term, nothing committed here. And God stepped in with the divine intervention. And God burned down this connection. There was something that came between you guys. It could have even been a heated conversation. It could have been some type of heated argument. 
you could have just walked away before it got heated. Because this person just wanted something casual. They didn't want nothing long term. They just wanted to party and have sex. And now they're sitting at home thinking about it. Wondering what you got going on. Wondering what you're doing. Tell me more for my collective. Knowing that you're the truth. They are now seeing the truth. Thank you, Spirit. Because they have had nothing but time to sit back and reflect on the connection that you had. How they treated you. They've gotten some type of clarity here. They may now want to come in and confess, reveal their secrets, reveal whatever they've been hiding and holding back from you. Yeah, this could be a soulmate. Twin flame, a soul contract, soul connection, someone you have a past life with. Tell me more. This person could have been dealing with some type of financial issues, money problems. They could be just focusing on work, material things. Maybe they were focused on 3D shit. Maybe they didn't feel like you had enough money. Maybe they didn't feel like they had enough money. They couldn't give to you. But if they was out here partying and hooking up, they was going after whoever had the money, whoever was giving them money. And maybe you wasn't giving them money, but they're seeing the truth now here, right? Yeah, because you walked away. You chose to be single. You'd rather be single than to be a hookup. Now this person is by themselves, alone, isolated, lonely, because you're guarded. And they're thinking about the times you guys hooked up, the times you guys partied together, the fact that this person went chasing after people with the money, chasing after this other lifestyle, this lower vibrational energy here. Yeah. They could have even chased after an ex-lover. But they're single now. And now they're thinking about your memories, the past, old flame, nostalgic. So they could have been still dealing with an ex. Or somebody from their past who is now an ex. Because they're single now. But they could have still been dealing with this ex when they were hooking up with you. Could have been why they wanted to just party and hang out. But now they see the truth. Now they want to come back towards you and date here. Courting, dating, anniversary, meet up. They want to meet up. They want to talk. Yeah, because they, they secretly have this crush on you. Admire, attraction, suit, or butterflies. You give this person butterflies. Mm. Collective energy when it comes to your love lives. Collective energy when it comes to love life. Yeah, so this person can't do this anymore. Okay. Um, they are really missing you. They they feel like they need to come in and confess. They gotta come in and tell you the truth. They gotta come in and tell you. How they feel. I, I feel like they feel like they can't be away from you. Yeah, see, they try. I wanted to move on. It says I want to move on, but I can't. They tried to move on. They tried to move on from me. They thought they, they was out here partying and hooking up with other people. and The whole nine. You know what I'm saying? These people could have been giving them money. Everything they thought they wanted. They thought the grass was greener, right? Everything they thought they wanted, they went and found out in the streets. And then they realized that they don't want that. They see the truth. And now they're sitting at home thinking about how they treated you, what well, went down. You were spiritually guided to walk away from this. Tell me more here, spirit. And now they want to come back in and rebuild the trust with you. With this trust me. Now whether you trust them or not. Listen to your discernment. 
Listen to your own intuition. Intuition. Here. Yeah. It says good things come to those who wait. So I do feel like the fact that you removed your energy, pulled yourself back here, collective, refused to be a hookup, refused to be just the, somebody they can party with and and you know sex on and shit. They now see who you are. And you walk away, you'd rather be single than to deal with this bullshit. So now they want to come towards you, yeah. Because they say you make them better. You make them better. Tell me more. Yeah, see, they feel like you guys break up to make up. But they want to come tell you why. Why they were breaking up to make up. Why they were in and out. They don't want to do this no more. They don't want to break up to make up no more. They want to come tell you the truth. Yeah, they want to tell you that they remember you from a past life. Didn't we see that soulmate card? They know there's a connection between you guys that they don't feel with anybody else. Yeah, they felt like you deserve better. Because once again, like I said, their finances may not have been up to par. Maybe they were having money problems. You was out here looking like the success. Maybe they were focused on material things. Focused on work. They had to get a better job. Something here. But they feel like you deserve better. Now they want to come give you better. Tell me more collective energy. Love life. Yeah, see, they feel like you walked away and, and you're being single. You're staying guarded because you feel like this connection was too stressful. And you know that good things come to those who wait. And you refuse to settle. You refuse to be a hookup. You knew you deserved better than what this person was giving you. You couldn't do this anymore. You were tired of the breakup makeups. Now this person want to come back and fix it with you. So they could have went back towards an ex-lover maybe because the sex was good. Or with you, they feel like the sex is amazing. I feel like they feel like the sex is amazing with you. Um, but this ex-lover probably, probably was doing some things you wouldn't do. Okay, so no. The sex was amazing with you. This person was afraid of a commitment to you because of a past relationship they had been in. With an ex. Now, they could have still been in this connection while they were dealing with you or they could have been single you know what i'm saying just not wanting to commit to anybody you know they were out here partying and just hooking up focusing on their money because of something that an ex-lover did to them in the past now they want to come in and date you court you yeah no more drama they're done with the drama and the bullshit they wish things could have been different between you guys. Collective energy when it comes to their love life. But this could be your twin flame here, babies. Yin yang, a soul connection. There's a bond here for for sure. Yin yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. And they want to come in and kiss on you, babies. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Anything else? Yeah, see. In the past, they felt like they were not enough. And now they feel like you may feel like they're not enough as well. But it says not enough. Frustrated in the relationship. Lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, fear, ego issues, jealousy. And 
you may have had it enough. You were frustrated in the, in the relationship because your person lacked confidence, because they self-sabotaged the connection, because they were stuck in their fear and ego. There could have even been some jealousy. You, like I said, you may your finances may have been good. And theirs wasn't. Your living situation may have been better than their living situation. Give me one more here for divine intervention. Yeah. It was divine intervention because there was a snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman or the other man. There was a third party. This ex. If I true, clarity. Collective energy when it comes to their love life. Yeah, so your person has found out the truth when it comes to this ex. Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, a shocking attack. So they found out the truth. This ex, past person, stabbed them in the back. So they were afraid, whether it was while they were with you or before they ever met you. But they were stabbed in the back. There was a third party. Now they want to welcome love. They feel like they met the one opening their heart, getting together. Perfect. They could have even felt like they they could have felt like this this third party, this ex lover, was the one. They thought this person was the one because they thought the grass was greener, and they got stabbed in the back. So if I, um, what's this? Finances. Finances. Collective energy. Yeah, well, I, didn't I tell y'all they were sitting at home looking at your photos, video? Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, wanting to make new memories. This person is sitting at their house thinking about the time y'all spent together, thinking about the time y'all hooked up, thinking about how they treated you. Thinking about this ex-lover, because whoever the third party is, they're now their ex. They're not dealing with them. There was divine intervention. So whoever they chose over you, there was divine intervention. That shit has come to an end. The other woman, the third party, that shit has been come to an end. This person could have told you, thank you, Spirit, that they were afraid of a commitment, but they weren't afraid of commitment because they were in a whole nother commitment. That's not everybody, that's somebody. Take it how it go for you, right? Yeah, so this person is sitting at home, looking at photos, reminiscing about how they ran from this connection with you into a connection with somebody that was codependent. Someone that had fear of intimacy because they were listening to their ego. They thought this third party had this finances, this money, this success. They thought this third party was their one. Right. Now... That they know the truth. They're having faith that love is coming. A surprise invitation or meeting. They are a little hesitant. Because they know they stressed you out. They know they made you feel like you were not enough. Yeah, now they want to come in and chase you. They possibly thought you were going to chase them too. It's different for everybody, okay? And you didn't chase this person. You walked away. You feel like, well, if you don't feel like I'm enough, I'm going to get up out of here. I'm not going to chase you to try to prove to you that I am enough. And maybe that's what this person thought. So they wanted to make you feel like you were not enough so that you would chase them and try to prove to them that you are enough. But all they were giving you was the bare minimum. A little time and some sex. A hookup. What if I single? Yeah. And this person ended up heartbroken. They could have broke your heart, but they ended up heartbroken because you separated. They didn't think you were going to separate. It says deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. This person is grieving and mourning the fact that you walked away. Okay, the breakup. They thought you were going to chase them, and you didn't. They thought that if they made you feel like you were not enough, you would chase. You would try to prove. 
Now they want to come towards you look, and make conversation. They want to talk. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship, interested, conversing more, awaiting messages, arrives, text, call, email, hovering. Clarify this ex lover. Selecting energy when it comes to their love life. Yeah, now it's a sudden change. You know why it's a sudden change? Because there was divine intervention. God showed this person that this third party was a snake. And that they had been stabbed in the back. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Right up out the motherfucking blue that she came to an end. And now they realize that you were the healthy choice. Now they want to come in and make a healthy choice in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. Now that's why they want to come back with no more drama. They want to meet up, date. They know that they sabotaged the connection in the past. Now they want to come in and rebuild it. They know there may be an interrogation that they may have some, some questions they, they got to answer. Before you allow this person back in. Because if they want you to trust them, they're going to have to be honest. They know that they have repeated this behavior before in the past. But they're coming in to be persistent and they want to work on it. And they're hoping that you want to work on it too. Told you this person is watching, looking, stalking. Told you social media, pictures, photos. Yeah, third party could be watching, stalking too. To see if this person has come back to you. Or if this, if this person is on their way to you. Let's do this last step right here. And then we'll close this out. Collective energy when it comes to their love lives. Collective energy when it comes to their love lives. Collective energy when it comes to their love lives. Clarity on this read here for my collective energy when it comes to the love lives. Any more? Okay, one more time. Anything else? That was a lot of my taking all this. Okay, babies, these will be our final messages for this read. I will um, pull zodiac signs off air. You can always find the zodiac signs for the reads down below in the description box on all the reads. Okay, guys, on all my channels. And if you like how I read, go check out my other channels, guys. The links for those are down below Tanya's Tarot and everything Pisces. You do not have to be a Pisces or have Pisces anywhere in your placements. Um, so go watch everything Pisces. If a, if a title resonates, go watch the story. Okay, babies? It's up in there for you. Oh, I don't know why I'm going to do it. Okay, so there was, I feel like this was the, the person, okay? Um, they could have been trying to hurt you. Because someone is trying to hurt you emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually. Like I said, they could have been trying to make you feel like you were not enough. Okay, because they thought you were going to chase them to try to prove that you were enough. But you said no, because you knew your worth. You knew who you were. But you're not going to prove nothing to nobody. So you walked away, which hurt them. They ended up breaking themselves, hurting themselves in the process. That's why they're sitting at home all sad and in their feelings and shit, right? Now they want to come in and be honest about their sexuality. Maybe they was in a third party. Maybe, um... They were having sex with somebody else. Maybe they have a sex addiction. Maybe they're into the same sex, bisexual, trisexual, just want to try some shit. Um, 
it's different for everybody. But they're going to come in and be honest about their sexual endeavors. Maybe they're going to come in and be honest about why they just want to keep you in a hookup. Because they were still in another connection with somebody. They want you to know that they were hiding their feelings or their intentions. In the past, I do feel like um, they had bad motives or they were in karmic energy. Because they were still dealing with a karmic. And they're going to come in and tell you the truth. Because of the divine intervention here. Yeah, so your person is spending some quiet time alone. Um, but they want to come spend some quiet time alone with you. Excuse me. Your person needs some quiet time alone with you. So they want to come in and spend some time alone with you here. Yeah, they're going to tell you that they were not faithful. And they know that you know they were not faithful. They're going to come in and reveal that they were sleeping with your friend, family, or an ex. We got this ex over here. So they're going to come in and be honest. This is why they were in that karmic energy. They were still sleeping with an ex. They were not faithful. Okay? They went towards this person for sex and money and, and all that type of shit. This is why they kept you in a hookup energy. But they're about to come talk to you. Okay? They're possibly going to come to your house. They're going to reach out to you on the phone, at your job. They may try to run, out, run into you out in public somewhere. A text, a DM, online or in person, okay? And because they're ready. They're ready now. They're ready to be honest. They're ready to move forward in something more long term and stable here with you. Yeah, they're ready they're, they're ready to be faithful, loving, and kind. And they're on their way to you right now. They want you to know. Um, for you to know they love you and there is no other like you. And they want you to know they're going to marry you if you just say yes. They want for you to reach out to them. But we're going to ask. Before I get off, I'm going to ask if you're supposed to reach out to them. Okay, but they do want your understanding and your compassion. 